Only on CBS This Morning, it's time to hear from Oprah, as in Winfrey, the author of her newest book club selection. We recently sat down with both of them for the big reveal. We are here now with Oprah, as in Winfrey, because there's only one. We are so excited. Why? Because she's here to reveal her newest book club selection. So drum roll, please. Drum roll. Da -da 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 And it is wellness. By who? Nathan Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nathan <laughs> Hill. <laughs> so wellness follows the relationship of Elizabeth and Jack over the course of their 20-year relationship from their meetings as lonely students in Chicago back in 1993 to their struggling marriage, and they were on the struggle bus in 2014, big time. This is Hill's second novel. You remember following his best-selling book, The Knicks. That was way back in 2016, but it was named one of the best books at that time. We are very excited to have best-selling author Nathan Hill, and of course, Oprah is always welcome. Good to see you both. Nathan, you were just telling us before we went on that that's the first time you've seen the book with the sticker on it. Yeah, so. uh, this morning was the first time I've seen this Yes. Oh, this book club sticker, Doesn't which has been around nice? since It looks very nice. I always like to hear the moment of when you found out. I know, how did it work for you? Oprah crashed a Zoom call. <laughs> I, I was having what I thought was just going to be a normal meeting <laughs> with my publisher, and then my screen was taken over <laughs> by Oprah. And the, the strangest thing happened. Like, I'm, I'm very accustomed to seeing Oprah on a screen. Yeah. So my, my, my impulse was just to kind of sit back and listen and learn. <laughs> <the inter> <laughs> <laughs> entertained, yes. you know? and uh, and it took I think an awkward amount of time to realize that she was actually speaking, speaking to me. To you. <laughs> like I had to speak back. It was uh, a very surreal. Moment. That's your story of hearing from her. But how did you come to Nathan? How did you come to this book? Why'd you pick it? Well, Lee Newman, who sends me books from the Oprah Daily team on a regular basis, I have stacks and stacks of them, uh, sent this to me, and we started talking about why this would work. I mean, it's basically a love story gone wrong. I loved it because it was set in Wicker Park. Uh, in Which Chicago, you know well. Yes, Chicago area. And so it felt, at the beginning, very familiar to me. And mm. then Jack and Elizabeth became less and less familiar uh, to yes. me. But I, I, I really appreciated your ability to take language and draw us into the story in such a way, in such a modern, contemporary, mm. Uh, vibrant way. Yeah. Nathan, this inspiration for the book is based on a short story that you wrote a long time, decades ago. Yeah. Um, but when you revisited it, it, it kind of spoke to you differently. It did, it did, yeah. The, the, the first chapter is a short story that I wrote almost 20 years ago now. I had just moved to New York City. I was living in this tiny studio apartment mm -hmm. in Queens. With, I had nothing but like a mattress on the floor. Mm -hmm. And my window looked out to this wall of other windows into other apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. And I imagined this scene where two lonely people were glimpsing each other through those windows and mm -hmm. slowly falling in love. And I wrote that as a short story and I, and, and I thought it was fabulously romantic. And then fast forward, you know, 15, 20 years and I'm older, I've been happily married for many years and I think back to that couple and I thought, well, maybe they're romantic, but they're also really naive. Yes. You know, they're maybe kind of idiots, like projecting these fantasies onto the other people without even knowing them. And it made me wonder what would have become of these people, you know, if we tracked them, if they got together, if they got married, if they became parents, what would happen to them? So I, I started writing. Don't you love the novelist? Oh, yes, man. I do. Yes. I do. Love the but lens. I love that because, you know, when they were both, they're both sort of semi stalking each other, but it wasn't a creepy way. It was very fascinating to me when they first met. The lines that, the line that Jack said to Elizabeth was what, Oprah? Because Come we, with. He, he just walked up to her and just said, Come with. Come with. I love that line so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I wanted I wanted his come first with. words to be completely without guile, just completely pure, just come with. And it's also an invitation to the reader. This is a bit of a long book, and I'm kind of asking yeah. the reader to, to come with me for it. And, and let me say this to all you men out there that are, are looking at Gail and want to shoot your shot, just say come with me. She's going to fall right into y'all. No, no. <laughs> Nate, I'm trying to find somebody I can go up to and say come with. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Because I think it's so sweet and so genuine. That's mm -hmm. what I like. Yeah. It also, this book also raises a question, Oprah, about what love really is. Didn't yes. that resonate with that you resonated, in terms of, yeah. What resonated is that each of them trying to find their own way and, you know, even the, you know, coupling and with the other couples. And it's, you know, it's a marriage trying to find its space. And yeah. I think a lot of people go through that. And I think a lot of readers are going to appreciate Thank you. the way you wrote 
Jack and Elizabeth. I, I mean, I think about, what are they doing now? How yes. are they doing? <laughs> you also, Oprah, were fascinated with algorithms because we know what the life, the world we live in today. Yes, yes, yes. And we wanted to know, is all that true? There, there's a section in the book that's essentially told from the point of view of algorithms, of yes. like Facebook or social media algorithms. The book is really about the stories that come to define us, this, you know, how our worlds can be built by the stories that we believe in. And I had the depressing experience of like losing people to Facebook rabbit holes and conspiracies. And, and what better kind of uh, example of losing yourself in a story than that. So, yeah. Yeah, Losing so, them how, though? Because they would just believe just the crazy the stuff? They went down the rabbit hole. And they became completely yeah. different people. Yeah. From, from the people that I thought they were, exactly. Right. And, uh, and, and so I, I read, oh my goodness, I read hundreds of pages of like Facebook patent applications. So you did some serious research I did, this. yeah. Art, and psychology. Brain-meltingly dry documents. Yeah. Those, but it those, helped. I mean, <laughs> it, well, I mean, it's amazing that you have a whole bibliography section, which is not typical for, uh, for fiction. But Oprah, I mean, because it is you can learn a lot from this book. You yeah. recently wrote a book last time you were on talking about happiness. Yes. The book is called Wellness. Yes. Did you learn anything more <laughs> in your search for happiness from this book? Well, what I learned is that when you're sitting with a good book and you're absorbed and you are uh, allowed to be transported to another way of being and another other people's experiences, that for me, that's the best kind of relaxation and comfort. And so spending time with Jack and Elizabeth, I was good, for me, good to know them through a novel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a little tease about what kind of people they are. <laughs> and what do you hope that people will take away from the book for you? Everybody believes you know, stories about themselves, they believe stories about the people in their lives, about the world, and mm. because we're fallible, uh, some of those stories are gonna need amendments and some of those stories are going to be wrong. And so believe what you believe, he says, but believe lightly, believe with curiosity, yes. believe with humility. I think that's kind of at the heart of the book. Wow. Well, I predict I you that. have a second bestseller on your hands. <laughs> I predict so too. What yeah. do you say, Oprah? I yeah. certainly say so. Nathan Hill. Yes, thank you both. <laughs> Wellness is on sale now. Check out cbsmornings.com for a reader's guide and a free excerpt from the novel. And you can go to our Instagram page to find out how to get more involved with Oprah's book club.